Well, hello, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about the Radicon Icon because it is, in most people's eyes, a useless talisman. This is not the case, as you'll see in this video. First off, if you don't know what Radicon Icon is, the Radicon Icon is a potent talisman which has the ability to significantly reduce the casting time of spells. It grants an impressive 30 virtual dexterity, it's invaluable for a sorcerer build, and can be found in Rey Lucari Academy on the second floor in close proximity to the debate parlor site of Greece. For spellcasters, the Radion Icon proves to be an indispensable asset. When paired with the Godfrey Icon, it's not that great, but it can still elevate your DPS by approximately 5.5% for charged spells. Which is still good, that is a greater bonus than the Graven School Talisman, the 4% one. And if you're not charging your spells, which you really shouldn't be if you're concerned about DPS, or if you're using swifter spells like the Carrion Slicer, the boost in DPS is closer to 12%, which is massive. That's like using the Magic Scorpion Charm and not using it. Of course, the Magic Scorpion Charm does have the Damage Negation debuff. So it could be even a better choice than the Magic Scorpion Charm depending on what your build is. This boost in DPS makes it an exemplary choice for any caster build to really unleash the full potential of your magic arsenal. To harness the true potential of your caster build, you should consider the following talisman setup. You want the Graven Mass Talisman, the Radigan Icon, Magic Scorpion Charm, and Ritual Sword for intelligence based casters, Otherwise, for a faith-based caster, you would find success with the Flux Canvas Talisman, the Radagon Icon, and then Fire, Lightning, Sacred Scorpion Charm, just depending on what element you're using. And then you want that in conjunction with the Ritual Sword Talisman. If you want to delve into the intricate realm of spell DPS calculation, here's the methodology. For the most part, you probably won't care about this, but if you do you would need to first find the frame data of the attack, which can be found on the Elden Ring frame data site, which I will link in the description. So to begin, you calculate your attack rating. Very simple to do for most weapons. You can just look in the right of the stat page and that will show your AR. However, if you're looking for spells, you would have to go to a build planner that shows the spell attack data. Cryptid Tracker's Build Planner would be the one I would recommend, and you can find that in the description as well. Then you would calculate the actual damage of the attack once it goes through damage negation and defense. And so that would also, you need a damage calculator, and that can also be found in Cryptid Tracker Sheet, which I will again link below. Then you estimate the damage output for each attack within your chain, and then you would average out the damage across these attacks. You determine the frame data, as I've already said, for your entire attack chain and convert it into attacks per second. To simplify the process, you can use the formula. You would start with 30 frames per second, and you would divide by the frames in the attack chain, which does include recovery, that is very important to And then you would multiply that by the number of attacks per chain. For most spells, it would be three, and then you would times that, which will give you the, your attacks per second, you times that by the damage, being the DPS of said weapon, spell, ash of war, whatever. So here's the data I use to arrive at my conclusions that you should always use the Red Against Icon in a Sorcerer build, assuming you don't have 70 dexterity. So at 10 virtual dexterity, I have a DPS of 906, using Lucette's Staff, 80 Intelligence, and then using Carrion Slicer. At 40 virtual dexterity, with the Radigan's icon, because that gives 30 virtual dexterity, I have a DPS of 1023. That is roughly 12%. And it's the same thing with Comet. I have the damages 905 at 10 virtual dexterity and 1017 at 40. Again, about 12%, just over. When we switch to a charged Comet, I have a DPS of 616 at 10 virtual dexterity and 650 at 40 virtual dexterity which provides me a bonus of around 5%. That is still better than the 4% that Graven School gives which is why you should always use Radigan's Icon 
So the Radagon icon in Elden Ring emerges a cornerstone of spellcasting, which most people seem to ignore 